electrolyte content in water sample by argentometric method. So we are going to find out the level of chloride ions present in the water sample. Right. So uh, normally the municipal water sam municipal water it contains lot of chloride ions. So the when chloride ion is uh, more present in water sample, we cannot use that water for drinking purpose. And also when it goes under industrial sectors, when chloride more chloride ions present in water sample, it may lead to certain uh, disadvantages which leads to boiler corrosions or some other disadvantages takes place when more chloride ions present in the water sample. So this is one of the very simplest experiment which can be done in our laboratory to find out the, present, the percentage of chloride ions present in the water sample. For, for that we are going to determine chloride ions using argentometric method. So argentometric method we all know the other name of silver is argentinum. So using silver nitrate we are going to find out the percentage of chloride ions present in the water sample. Right? So for that I am going to take uh, silver nitrate as one of the buric solution and water sample which contains chloride ions. So for example here we have taken sodium chloride which contains chloride ions. So using sodium chloride and silver nitrate we are going to remove the chloride ions present in the water sample. So for that silver nitrate when it reacts with sodium chloride it gives the product as silver chloride which is white precipitate. Right? So, which is white precipitate. Now, this silver, it removes all the chlorides which is present in the sodium and it is converted to silver chloride which is a white precipitate. So, in the second step, we are moving towards the indicator. So, here I am using potassium chromate as the indicator. So, when all the chloride ions is removed in the first step, the second step is we are, we are titrating silver nitrate with potassium chromate, right? So the color of potassium chromate is yellow. So when silver nitrate reacts with potassium chromate, it gives the product as silver chromate which is reddish brown precipitate, right? So in the first step itself, the chloride ions is removed from the water sample and in the second step, the indicator reacts with the silver nitrate to give the product as reddish brown precipitate. So from this principle, we come to know that the, press, the chloride ion is completely removed from the water sample and we will get the end point as reddish brown precipitate. So let's see how we are doing this, we are getting this reddish brown precipitate practically. Already I told you that uh, in the principle we are going to discuss about determination of chloride content in water sample by argentometric method. Right? So practically we are going to see how the chloride ions is removed from the water sample. So for the, this I am going to take silver nitrate as a burette solution. So you can see silver nitrate which is uh, taken as your burette solution. And uh, next I am going to take uh, sodium chloride as a water sample. Right? So the water which contains chloride ions. Right? So already I have filled the burette with the silver nitrate solution and I have taken sodium chloride in my conical flask. So in the first step we are going to add an indicator which is potassium chromate. So now I am going to add indicator which is potassium chromate. Right? So I have added potassium chromate. So now I am going to titrate this water sample with the burette solution. So let's see what is the end point we are going to reach. So as I told you, first we will get white color precipitate which is silver chloride. So when the percentage of chloride ions completely removed from the water sample, potassium chromate which is the indicator directly reacts with silver nitrate and will get the end point as reddish brown precipitate. Right? So that is what we are getting.
so you can see we'll attend the end point within a short time so let's watch what happens so this is the end point so you can see the brown color precipitate right so in this we have studied about the removal of chloride ions from the water sample so the end point is reddish brown precipitate right so uh, we'll move towards the calculation part next okay so we'll see about the calculation of uh, argentometric method so titration 1 it is about standardization of silver nitrate so whenever we are doing volumetric analysis first we have to standardize the burit solution right so that is why we are going under standardization of silver nitrate so here we can see the target column volume of sodium chloride which is the pipette solution i have taken 20 ml so burit reading initially we don't know the reading so we have substituted zero here and the experiment when we are doing the experiment for example for ascension i have taken 24 ml so volume of silver nitrate we have uh, received is 24 and the concordant value is 24 so let's see the calculation part volume of silver chloride right volume of silver chloride which is sorry sodium chloride which is v1 ml is equal to 20 which, uh, that is the pipette solution so sodium chloride is pipette solution volume of silver nitrate which is v2 the reading which is been taken as a burette which is 24 and strength of sodium chloride so we know the value of pipette solution so we know the strength of pipette solution n1 is equal to 0.01 normality so we have to find the strength of silver nitrate which is n2 we don't know the uh, strength of burette solution so that is what we are going to find out the strength of uh, silver nitrate n2 so for that we are applying volumetric analysis formula which is v1 n1 is equal to v2 n2 so we don't know the value of n2 so n2 is equal to v1 into n1 divided by v2 so we know that v1 is 20 ml and n1 is 0.01 normality divided by v2 ml is 24 so when we divide this we will get the strength of silver nitrate which is n2 so the value is 0.0083 normality so next we'll see about the titration 2 which is calculation part 2 okay so titration 2 cut to titration 2 so first titration and first titration we have discussed about standardization of silver nitrate solution So in titration two, we are going to discuss about. Uh, uh, we are going to find out the chloride ions using water sample, right? So here, silver nitrate versus water sample. Again, the same thing. Volume of water sample we have taken 20 ml. Initial we don't know. Final and final uh, for assumption I have taken 14.1 and volume of silver nitrate 14.1 and concordant is 14.1. So let's move towards the calculation. Volume of water sample V1 is equal to 20 ml, and strength of water sample. So we don't know the strength of water sample. We are going to find out the strength of water sample. So I have written as question mark. Volume of silver nitrate. What we have done as the titrated value, which is 14.1, and strength of silver nitrate. Already we have found out in titration one. The value is 0.0083 normal. right so using this again i'm applying the formula v1 n1 is equal to v2 n2 so we don't know the value of n1 so n1 is equal to v2 into n2 divided by v1 so we have to find out the strength of water sample so strength of water sample is equal to v2 is here it is 14.1 into n2 which is 0.0083 divided by v1 which is 20 So finally, I have found out the strength of water sample, which is 0.0058. So we have to find the total amount of chloride ions present in one liter of the water sample. So for that, the formula is equivalent weight of chloride ions into strength of water sample into thousand. So 
while we are multiplying it by thousands, we are calculating this in terms of liters. So we have uh, multiplying it by thousand. So the equivalent weight of chloride ion is 35.45 into strength of water sample already we have found out 0.0058 into thousand. So finally I received the answer as 205 ppm. So the level of chloride in water sample is 205 ppm. So the permissible level of water sample in chloride ion can be up to 250 ppm. So now we have received the answer as 205 ppm. So if you uh, like this video, give a subscription and like button. Thank you.